Mm. A king of swords in reverse. Somebody's about to get exposed for stealing from us. A king of swords in reverse. This is that same energy that was coming up before. Mm. Somebody who lied about hooking up with you. I'm celibate. I've been celibate for five years. Okay. Mm. I didn't consent to anything sexual. It's been five years since I consented to anything. So if they claiming they got proof, that means they gonna get charged with sexual assault. <laughs> that message is for somebody. King of Swords in reverse and the lovers. What? This person, you got six of pentacles in reverse. It's not equal give and take. You intuitively know. You intuitively know that this person is trying to steal some kind of creative energy you got flowing here. Mm-hmm. This person knows whatever they offering ain't good enough. What's, what is this? Come through, Holy Spirit. Yeah, death in reverse. You ain't dying anytime soon, or you're not dead. You're not dead. Somebody is jealous that they couldn't end you with these lies. Somebody's jealous they couldn't end you with these lies. Mm-hmm. They may be trying to compete with you or fight with you. Listen, you and that five of wands energy with yourself. Okay, with yourself trying to compete with you backfired. They may be fighting to block this opportunity from you. Mm -mm. It's already waxed, baby. There ain't nothing you can do about that. Somebody mad. Right. Because it's your destiny, will of fortune, to be a star. It don't matter what whoever this is. They could be an air sign. They may not be. It's just somebody who's lying. Whoever this person is, they don't understand that it's your destiny to be who you are. There ain't nothing that this person could do or say or try to take from you that's going to realign your destiny. Okay, somebody is like obsessed. Yeah, they're stressed that whatever energy work or whatever they did, Starseed, that shit ain't working. It ain't work. And see, people think because you not all over social media clout chasing that you not working on shit behind the scenes. Listen, don't be worried about what I'm doing. You need to focus on your own study guide. Okay? Somebody mad because you get respect out here. Or they're burdened over how strong of a healer you are. Yeah, because your ass is protected. Okay, they're not fitting to come around that, come around this corner with them lies. Hell no. This person is a tyrant. Who is this, Holy Spirit? Somebody who lied on you. Look at this shit. Somebody who stole from you. Somebody who lied on you. This could be that identity shit coming out again. Look how the the stag's reflection is in the water. Wait a minute. That's the first time I noticed that. So the stag that's on the in the woods is fully adult, right? Look at his horns. But if you look at the reflection in the water, it's a baby deer. Somebody is about to get caught for identity fraud, bro. They could have been going around pretending to be your child or they could have said your child was theirs. I don't know, but this was for some kind of money. Bro, it's somebody's daddy out here that is committing fraud. The math ain't math in here. Somebody, ooh, yeah. This investigator or whoever's looking into this, this person knows you about to get your justice. 
This could be back pay. This could be something. Somebody is looking into this situ situation on your behalf. If this person didn't pretend to be your son, right? Or I'm saying son because it's a stag in the card, but it could be a daughter. This person dawned on the identity of a child to get some kind of payout here. This could be you, Starseed. This could be your kid. Take what resonates. Or this person took on the identity of their child. I said that already, right? Listen, to get some kind of money. This is this is crazy. This is crazy, bro. If this isn't a father figure, I mean, yeah, if it's not your actual father, this is a father figure. This could be a brother, this could be a sister. It's somebody who is above like I don't even want to say above. What I want to say it's somebody That wanted to gain control over your finances in some kind of way here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They could be trying to locate the actual um, person that this payout is supposed to go to. Mm -hmm. They trying to tie you up in something now because they don't want you moving on to comma waters. They want to try to keep you stuck in the past. You're not stuck in the past. You was never stuck. This is a projection. Y'all need to protect your energy. Return to sender with these karmic ass readers trying to pull on my energy. Nobody gave you permission to do that. Okay. And I'm not taking on the karma of anyone else because they realize now. That they overspoke. Yeah. Somebody's getting clarity now that somebody tried to do a destiny swapping or karma swapping spell with you. Nope. My shit is protected. You're not fitting to do that. Yeah. Whoever this person is, they're jealous that you see through their illusions. Thank you, Holy Spirit. They possibly tried to block your third eye. Listen, your energy too strong for that shit. Mm -mm. Somebody is committed to trying to keep you stuck. Listen, if something is owed to my children, I have 100% custody of my children. If somebody is going around pretending to be my son on paper, their ass is going to get got. If anyone's pretending to have custody or be the father of my child, their ass is going to get got. Point blank, period, okay? Or this could be somebody, like, collecting child support and not ever giving it to you. I don't know. It's something, it's something fraudulent going on here. Yep, somebody family. Ten of Cups. Somebody is collecting money on your behalf, Starseed, that belongs to you or belongs to your child. You're getting that fish again. Okay, my son recently had a vision this week, okay, a dream that he told me about. And look, here goes the fish in the, in the, in the bottom cup. One, two, three, four, five, six. The sixth cup. It could be a sibling. Mm, for some of you, it's a sibling. Mm-hmm. Because this sibling... Is hurting for cash right now. I don't know who the fuck this is. Wheel of Fortune is represented by the star sign of Sagittarius. You take what resonates. It's either a parent, it's a relative of some kind. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. This person's getting bad karma because of something that they did to a family member. I'm just reading the cards. I don't know whose story this is. Somebody's getting bad karma though. Because of something they did to a family member. Yep. Somebody is getting bad karma for something they did to a family member. You intuitively know this. High Priestess. Starseed. You already know this. That's what's coming out in the energy. You know that this person is looking all through your shit. Yep. 
Your spirit guides could have warned you of this person trying to do some funny ass shit. This person could be hacking your phone. Or there's something. Yep. With the Prince of Swords. This person is all up in your business. This person needs to find some of their own business. Somebody is just real invested in being all up in your damn business. They don't pay your bills. They don't do nothing. They're trying to figure out, well, how are you getting all of this recognition and, and stability? Somebody may be like straight up jealous of you, bro. And they may be trying to throw it in your face or like, I don't know what this person's problem is. I don't know what's wrong with this person. They getting controlled by a damn demon right now. Okay, I don't know what the hell's wrong with this person. Yeah, moon in reverse. This is about to come out for somebody. This person could be gossiping to a Sagittarius about your business. For some of you, this is somebody's mother that's involved. Somebody's gossiping about somebody's mother here or who you are as a mother. Mm. whoever this is that stole from you is worried they could be losing sleep they could be having nightmares they regret trying to come for you because now that you're getting these opportunities they know that they can't bully you right or this is this is what they're coming out as the king of wands in reverse that's somebody who is very jealous, somebody who is a tyrant, somebody who is a bully. Whoever this king of wands in reverse is, this person is a fucking bully, okay? They may even be domestically violent. King of wands in reverse is a abuser. Absolutely. If it was going to be any king who's abusive, it's the king of wands in reverse, okay? That's the passion king. When your passion is in reverse, that means you like to beat up on people or you like to abuse your authority in some kind of way. Yep. You possibly have been getting downloads about this, okay? It's that ring around the rosy energy with the temperance card. And at this point, you're just remaining patient because you know your justice is coming. You know what I'm saying? You may have already picked up on this intuitively. You, there's a what I'm getting, High Priestess, is there's a lot that you get downloads about that you don't share, and people straight up be like, mm -hmm, "They third eye is blocked. They not gifted." No, a real High Priestess knows you don't share everything God reveals to you. Somebody rushing to clout chase online and act like they got the the skinny on everybody business. I would have to question that person's integrity and morals because I know God didn't tell you to do all that to the point where you taking money to lie on people. Yeah, somebody getting karma, I'm telling you. Somebody getting karma for something that they did to a sibling or a family member in the past. Yep, and you're remaining patient because you know you're getting your justice or this justice is here and somebody feels some type of way that you're getting your justice. Mm -hmm. You're being brave about moving forward and speaking about this. Somebody's burdened by how brave you are, okay? Somebody feels some type of way, like you you was just supposed to shrink into the shadow or something. Yeah, because their lies ain't matching the fact that you independent, nine of pentacles. You move freely. Somebody was trying to control your freedom. Uh-uh. Okay? The end result is you're going to end up leaving this person behind. Because you know this person don't mean you know well. Five of Pentacles. This person may be experiencing FOMO. Yeah. Because you're really in the Six of Swords in the upright. You done dropped your burdens already, baby. You over here floating, relaxing with the orcas and shit. You not even... Listen, this person feels butthurt because you're leaving them behind. But when they had the opportunity to hop on it with you, they ass wanted to throw their snooty ass nose up in the air, right? Like, who were you? You were nobody. Or, you know, oh, I don't... You know, personally, I feel like that's not good enough or, you know... They, this person just always has a problem with whatever you create. 
This person is very, very critical of anything you create, but they want to be praised for the shit they do. Listen, you getting this opportunity and now somebody is feeling like they're missing out. Well, they had the oppor opportunity to do right by you and they didn't. Because they were trying to abuse a position of power. Yep, you're manifesting all of this temperance, justice, and the Nine of Pentacles is you manifesting in a positive vibration. Okay? And because somebody done got left in a timeline or two below you, they feel some type of way. Because they know it's going to be an end of you being isolated. It's going to be an end to you being alone. And somebody, I don't know why somebody is so invested in what you got going on in your life. That's disgusting.